hello to all of the beautiful souls watching thank you so much for clicking on this pick a card video this video is going to be all about the ethnicity and the cultural background of your future spouse and there are going to be tons of other psychic and intuitive information about your future spouse as well in each pile um, depending upon which one you choose um, I would like for you to close your eyes take a deep breath and um, look at each card in whichever options are really truly calling out to you the most you can choose them you can definitely choose more than one option the timestamps are going to be given in the description box below the first option is the fox spirit the second option is the dolphin spirit and the third option is the badger spirit um so without further ado let's hop into the first option the fox spirit okay so if you've chosen the option number one or the fox spirit these are the cards i have for you i have the nine of cups the knight of cups the king of cups death strength page of cups the lovers five of wands the emperor and lastly we have the three of pentacles for the zodiac signs i'm sensing there are heavy water signs in the group scorpio cancer pisces i'm sensing scorpio the most I'm also getting Capricorn here and Earth vibes. So Earth signs would be Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Let's see what messages do we have for you. And then at the very end of this pile, I'm going to be telling you about the um, about the place this person could be from or um, what kind of ethnic or cultural background this person might have. So let's see what comes up for them. Let's see. Um, I'm sensing this person, um, whoever you're going to connect with, this is someone who has a very, um, I'm getting like a big family vibe. So this person may have lots of members or um, I'm getting like, this person has lots and lots of, they have like a big family. That's, that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting like at Thanksgiving and stuff like that. Um, that's what I see this person gathering up with people and I feel like they have lots and lots of relations like they have lots of um, connections this is a very I'm not getting like this is a popular person but this person is quite social um, but they may have lots of connections but that has nothing to do with their family I feel like their family is totally separate from that um, and I'm getting let me see Okay, I feel like this person um, puts more emphasis and gives more importance to the family and their own love life and their personal life rather than their family, uh, th rather than their professional life and their career. I feel like their family is their priority. And I'm also getting for some of you, somebody is going, somebody has some pets. I'm getting like dogs, two pets. I'm getting and I'm also getting for some of you that um, this person may even belong to a family which is like quite financially well off for a lot of you and um, this is this has to do with um, I'm getting like yes they may have achieved a lot of wealth on their own but I feel like this person belongs to a family which is innately rich um, like they have been born in a wealthy families what I am getting for a lot of you and I'm, I'm also sensing this person could be um, like they could be handling a family business is also what I'm getting for some of you that there is someone who is handling some sort of way or managing a family business which has been going on for quite a long time and um, let me see Somebody could be a Libra. I'm getting number six is quite significant for you guys. Number six and number three. And, um, yeah. Um, I feel like this person is the one who is going to ask you first. Um, yeah, they may ask you out on a date and stuff, like, at first, but what I actually got was this person is going to ask you to marry them i feel like this is the person who's going to take that initiative because this person is going to feel that way about you that you are the perfect person this person can have um yeah that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting and 
somebody is very connected to nature somebody also loves mountains i'm also getting hiking camping somebody loves all of these things but mountains i'm getting largely somebody loves mountains and um somebody who's born in december or i'm getting like i'm getting the winter months plus uh probably yeah that's what i'm getting for a lot of you and um somebody could also have somebody could have their hair colored recently or some sort of a change to their hair maybe they um chopped it off a little bit um or um it could be about the color something of that sort yeah and um let me see I'm getting that this person um when like the time when this person is going to meet you for the first time I feel like there's some sort of a um like it's like a celebration going on but this is not like a um you know your weekend party or it's just like yeah, you know those kind of um no it's not like the rooftop party or um one of those house parties i feel like this is a big event it's a big um i'm also getting for some people it's something big like you're going to be celebrating or you're going to be attending and that's where you're going to meet up with this person i'm getting they may not come off as mature as they are i feel for a lot of you this person may come off as a little bit casual to be honest you might think this way but this person is not casual at all um i feel like this person is very serious yeah something about the color white somebody is going to wear the color white when you're going to meet this person for the first time or you're going to be wearing white and um let me see what else okay and i'm also sensing some sort of traveling happening i'm not sensing that you're going to meet this person just um out the door and no i don't feel like i don't feel that's the vibe this person somebody's workaholic here literally they keep working yeah it's crazy somebody has crazy work schedule literally and um oh okay okay so somebody is working like crazily here so whoever this is they're working to recover from something or to forget something or not give their attention to something maybe this is some sort of a deception it could be a heartbreak it could be an unpleasant experience that you or this person went through and to ignore this thing or to get past this thing and move on from this thing is why this person is working so um yeah crazily yeah that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting over here it's kind of healing it's kind of helping this person to heal and let me see what else okay so um somebody could be a virgo as i already said earth signs and water signs are really prominent in this group okay i feel like there is something a lot of people have have been asking you to do it could be visiting to a certain place maybe one of your friends or your family members have been um asking you to accompany them to a certain place or a certain event and you've just been putting it off and um it's like everybody has been saying this thing to you it could it could be anything to be honest it doesn't have to be about a trip it doesn't have to be about a place it could even be about a book maybe a lot of people have recommended this book to you or it could be about a movie or it could be about a person whatever this is about or it could be about a website they're asking you to log into 
whatever this is there is something which is recurring in your life and whatever comes into your mind whilst i'm saying it is the thing that this message is pertaining to so whatever this thing is that everybody has been talking to you about i feel like you're putting it off and you should do it whatever this is if it's traveling if it's a book if it's a movie if it's an activity whatever this is i feel like you should do it and you also know on some or the other level that you need to do it but you kind of um you're kind of not standing your ground right now you're kind of putting it off for some reason you're resisting it is what i am getting yeah that's the kind of vibe however you need to do this you need to take the step you need to i feel like for a lot of you you're not able to take the step because it is so out of your comfort zone and um this is something which is also a bit daunting so that's kind of a um like a scary step for you you don't know what's going to come ahead and um that's probably the reason why you're not able to that's probably the reason why you don't want to take the step that's probably the reason why you don't want to do that thing that everybody's asking you to do however you need to take the step and there's a huge possibility you will land up on the thing you are desiring the most right now yeah for a lot of you i'm also sensing you will be closer to your the one your future spouse and at the same time i'm also getting for a lot of you if you're looking for a job for some sort of a promising offer you're going to get that as well yes um especially if you are into something which you're passionate about like um creative arts or anything that you're passionate about honestly if you are um into that and if you are pursuing that and let me see what else somebody's sun sign could be in an earth sign that would be taurus virgo capricorn yeah something's going to happen in the month of um let me see okay it could be october and it could also be july for some of you yeah i'm also getting september i'm also getting somebody's going to be buying new shoes um and i'm hearing a change of season something's going to happen when the season is going to change most probably when the summers are going to be um ending and the winters are going to start that's when something's going to take place i'm getting for a lot of you i'm getting you guys are single if you're not single right now um and if things are not going fine with whoever you're in a relationship with i'm sensing you will be single yeah and um there's somebody new coming in for you it could be an aquarius also this could be a fixed sign to be honest leo aquarius taurus and scorpio now for the um for the place this person might belong to i got two continents for you guys north america and south america and then i narrowed it down to the places which were highlighted the most and for that i got havana puerto rico west indies oklahoma city chicago indianapolis pittsburgh dallas portland salt lake city and lastly we have south brazil now i'm going to ask um what month is going to be significant for you guys okay i'm getting september for a lot of you and um yeah i'm getting september and let's see what dates are going to be very significant for you i'm getting 23 i'm also getting 2 and 3 and i'm also, i'm also getting 5 so that could be very significant for you those could be the dates you meet this person on 
and lastly let's see what other messages we have for you these these are probably the very last messages i'm getting somebody has a very thick or a very distinct accent like this person's accent is quite distinguishable it's not like a it's not ordinary yeah let's see what else number three is very significant for you guys i already said that in the beginning of the video um now i do want to mention what i mean when this number is significant or um so and so is significant so when it comes to numbers when i say this number is significant it could mean that it could be your birthday it could be this person's birthday it could be your life path number your destiny number or that person's it could also mean for some of you um the name the numbers in um the number of alphabets in your first name or last name or for that person as well is what i'm getting okay let's see what do we have for you um I'm sensing somebody is a bit of a how do I say I'm getting a loner maybe somebody likes to stay alone yeah I'm also getting some people have walked away from your life and or you walked away from somebody's life is what I am getting same goes for that person as well um but there is somebody who walked away from your life or you felt like it was right to walk away from these people or remove these people from your life i feel like some things of your life have completely changed and you've entered a new era altogether and i'm also getting at this very point wherever you are in your life you really need to trust your feelings your guts and your emotions I feel like your intuition has heightened quite a lot and you need to pay attention to your dreams but mostly you need to pay attention to the cues and the symbols you receive from the universe including repeating numbers whether it may be 1111 or 444s or 33s um also do keep in mind that um your intuition has heightened quite a lot and you can rely on yourself you don't have to reach out to others or listen to others um for validation i feel like your own judgment and your own understanding and logic is enough even if you do not have logic for a certain thing that you are feeling it is for, like for the majority it is quite possible that that is the right thing because a lot of you have heightened intuition at this point and i'm getting that you have gone through some things somebody has gone through a lot in their life and they feel like they want to give up um but that this is the point where you should not and you are not going to give up it just feels that you have fought for long enough and you don't want to continue but you're not going to continue fighting or you're going to do is you're going to have a restart or you're going to um walk away from this thing and be hopeful and optimistic about the new things coming coming in your life so whatever is not making you feel good you're putting an end to it you're closing the book and you're starting a new chapter of your life yeah that's what i'm getting for you guys somebody's going through some major uh with the death card right here in the strength card i'm getting somebody's going through some sort of major um endings and then beginnings at the same time so that is one thing so yeah um that's all i'm sensing for you guys and um i'm going to finish off this part right here if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and also do keep in mind that this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with every single one of you in its entirety so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can do so by emailing me and my email is given in the description box below also um subscribe down below if you haven't already that really helps me out and um helps my channel grow thank you so much once again hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time okay so if you've chosen the option number 2nd 
um these are the cards i have for you i have the two of cups the three of discs which is the three of pentacles i have the five of swords the seven of wands the hermit the four of cups the two of swords the four of wands the six of wands the emperor and lastly i have the three of cups for you guys so um this video is going to be all about the i'm going to be telling you about the ethnicity and the place this person could be from whoever is going to be your future spouse and that i'm going to be revealing at the end of this pile and before that we're going to dive into um some psyche intuitive if, um, information or downloads that i've that i had while shuffling your cards and laying out all the things so let's begin with the zodiac signs that I'm seeing over here. I'm sensing somebody could have their sun in an earth sign, which would be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody could also be a Virgo. Um, I'm also getting, let me see. And I'm also getting, um, for a lot of you, somebody's moon sign could be in a fire sign. That would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So one thing I am getting for you guys is, um, let me see, I'm getting for some of you that it's a random message that when somebody's going to be moving into a new house or somebody's going to be planning into a new house, that's when this person is going to meet up with their future spouse. That is one thing. And also I'm getting, um, let me see. I'm hearing when somebody's going to reach their pinnacle. So it could be in regards to your goals. It could be in regards to, I'm getting finances the most. When somebody's going to reach the pinnacle when it comes to their financial um, condition is when this person or you are going to meet up with your future spouse. That is one of the things that I'm getting over here. Number nine, again, is very significant. I'm also getting winter months are going to be significant as well. And um, I'm getting for some of you that you're going to you're connecting with a person who um, who went through a phase in their life where they had to take some tough decisions or they had to make some tough choices. And these tough choices have to do with um, this person needing to cut some people out of their life because they were toxic or they were not letting this person grow. I feel like this person has matured and gotten wise enough to know what is good for this person and what is not. And I'm also sensing for a long time this person may have felt alone or may have been isolated from the world, but this person did what was right rather than giving in too short, um, I'm getting rather than giving in too short term pleasures is also one thing I feel like this person loves to travel yeah and um, somebody also loves to paint I'm getting and I'm getting for some people that um, somebody has a habit of getting off track I'm getting somebody either dealt with some sort of a disorder. I'm hearing like maybe somebody had hallucinations or somebody went through or somebody had some sort of a disorder or something where they've experienced like delusional states or hallucinations and stuff like that. That is one of the things that I am getting over here. It's almost like, you know, when uh, people have trouble being attentive or being aware of something for a longer period of time and like their attention keeps getting distracted um they keep getting distracted from that thing that they're trying to attend to um that is one of the things that i am getting over here and um i feel like your person is a very hard working person this person has um built everything from scratch whatever they have today but this person is um this person is doing really well, especially when they're going to meet up with you. They're going to be doing really good in their career, like really good. And um, 
and i think the word that i was hearing pinnacle pinnacle is usually the top the peak of something i think that was being referred to this person um as well because i feel like this person has reached the pinnacle when it comes to their finances and i feel like whatever work this person does they are they absolutely love it whatever this is yeah I'm also getting somebody has a very distinct choice when it comes to music or somebody has a um somebody has a habit of listening to music when they're working like you know music playing in the background while this person is working but a different kind of music it's not like it's not pop music or something it's different and um I'm getting let me see I feel like this person um this is a kind of a person who has less people around them in the sense that this person's friend circle is not that big I feel maybe they used to have a big friend circle like they used to have like tens and um like 10 friends in their circle like when they were in the school time and stuff like that or when they were studying but I feel like lately and the more this person grew older i feel like this person realized that it's not really about the quantity and a lot of people are not this person also realized that when they are making friends with other people when they are being friends with other people it's actually different for a lot of them and a lot of people are sometimes jealous and some people are being competitive some people are not really deep down friends with you they're just wanting to um i feel like this person has faced all of that and keeping that in mind this person has always um yeah tried to kind of not get too involved with someone i feel like this is that kind of a person i'm not getting that they're unsociable or they have social anxiety i feel like this person is quite confident It's just that this person does not want a lot of mess in their life. They hate drama, I feel. And somebody's name might start with a K. I'm also sensing an S. I'm also getting a W and an M. Also an H. I'm also getting a T. So this could be their first name and last names initials or your first name and last names initials. Yeah. Okay, um I feel like let me see. I'm also getting for a lot of you that um there is someone who um suffers from some sort of a headache. it could be like um it could be through working long hours in front of the screen or whatever the case may be but there there is someone who is going through some sort of a headache is what i'm getting and also um for some people back pain i'm getting that your person is going your person or you i'm sensing very strongly that there is some, there is this energy which is present in this reading um which does not want to reveal anything which does not want to speak up much or open up much about themselves they are sort of like a closed book if i may say um this person um they have gone through a lot however this person would rather not talk about it this person um it's kind of like they don't like to share things about their own life they don't like to open up to people about themselves and that's one of the reasons why um i'm kind of like getting messages after a little break you know it's not like overflowing like you know one after the other it's not like that it's not like the other files is what i am getting yeah this is not the kind of person who's too open and they've always been this way i feel I'm also getting for some of you that this person may have a fire sign or a Leo um as a sibling or as like a close member or a um like a family member or a close friend in their life. I feel like that's 
it could be in your life, it could be the, in this person's life, but there is a presence in somebody's life who is who is someone who kind of shows the light to you or to this person and i'm also getting that this is someone this i'm sensing it's in young energy this is being depicted as the knight but i'm getting this is someone who um who is very much showing me the energy of a helper like you know when you are stressed out or you're in some sort of a pressure or you are not able to sort things out that is when this person comes to the rescue is what I'm getting or for that person there could be a presence of that sort in their life and let me see what else okay I'm also getting some people like to travel solo okay and and I'm also getting for some people that this person loves to read about travels, like maybe documentaries or stuff like that. So maybe rather than traveling, this person likes to stay at home and read about travels is what I am getting for a lot of you. I'm sensing for you future spouse that their love life has been a bit of a, how do I say, a bit of a roller coaster and it's been unstable. It's never been reliable, is what I am getting. Um, nobody seemed promising. Nobody seemed stable enough for this person to make up their mind that they want to settle down with this person. I feel like this person never got that stability or never got that groundedness in any person. They never saw that. Yeah. And... Yeah, I feel like this person also could not see spending their life with someone that they met in the past. I feel like the vibe just did not match. However, I feel like there was one significant scenario. It could be about this person's love life or it could be about your love life, your past. Um, I'm sensing there was this one person. It could be a Capricorn. It could be any other sign, to be honest. But... Um, the thing that I am getting over here is that you started this relationship thinking that it was going to be fine, it was going to be all right, there was nothing special about it, and you didn't think too much, neither did this person think that much. You guys started dating, and um, slowly and st steadily, it became something that you never thought it could be. There were lots of things hidden, I'm getting, and... Um, it was just the most untrustworthy person. I feel like somebody met, I'm getting like somebody feels this way about someone that there is a specific person in their life. There's a significant person in their life who is so untrustworthy. And it is almost this energy of deception and lies and hidden truths. Like um, everything which was revealed afterwards, it was so like i'm getting like groundbreaking but toxic at the same time and that is what i'm getting that this person or one of you went through something like this and okay So I'm sensing that I'm getting a big change. I'm hearing a big change again and again. So there is a big change or a big transformation that needs to happen or that will take place. Somebody's name is going to start with a D. I don't know why I got that. Um, but um, yeah so there is this one big change or this major transformation that needs to take place and that will inevitably take place and after that transformation or after that change is um is the time when you're going to meet up with your person or you're going to be in the alignment when you're going to meet up with your person yeah 
I'm sensing some sort of travel will definitely take place. But there is something which will, like, how do I say? It's sort of like an upheaval. It's sort of like this sort of energy where everything is disorganized. Everything is so messy and you don't know what's happening. And you don't know what's going to happen. And then slowly and steadily, you will move away from that energy and you will try to um, bring yourself back. You will try to... Um, contain yourself and slowly and steadily when you will move on from that and regain the order i feel like that yeah i feel like everything is going to feel organized and balanced again and as soon as everything starts to get balanced again i feel like that is when this person is going to enter your life number four is very significant for you guys number six is very significant as well um you guys could have some sort of a um how do i say I'm getting an otherworldly bond. So you guys could already be in connection right now when you're watching this video, even if you met this person or not. And what I mean by that is um, you might sense this person's energy somehow if you are a bit psychic or um, if you have some people in your life and you feel some sort of a connection with someone, but you still feel like um, this is not the person that you you're meant to be with because there is somebody else so that somebody else whatever you're able to sense of that person is is actually the proof that you are able to sense um the one that you're going to be with now coming to the ethnicity and the place this person could be from um i got the continents asia and africa for you guys so this person might belong from both of those con continents or um yeah for there are so many people watching this pile so it could be different for every single one of you and um the places that were really highlighted in these two vast areas were i got russia i got russia again and again i also got india so that could be one thing as well. This was also highlighted a lot of times. I also got Turkey. I got China. And um, a little bit of Europe as well. Um, which included Austria, I believe. And um, I don't remember much. But yeah, that was one thing. And um, I also got Central Africa and uh, Nigeria. So that's what I'm getting for group number two. And let's see what else is coming up. I'm getting for um, for a lot of you that your friend or um, some of for for a lot of you, you may not have met this friend also, whoever is going to introduce you to your future spouse. But there is this person who is going to enter your life. This will be your friend. This will be someone who is going to be close to you. And they're going to introduce you to this person. So there could be a possibility for a lot of you that you may not even have met this friend of yours. But for some of you, if you have met this person, this friend of yours, I feel like this friend is going to introduce you to your future spouse. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. And let me see what else. Number five is also significant for you guys. Yeah, before you meet this person, I'm getting that when a lot of big changes start happening in your life, when you feel like your life has never been this way. And be honest with yourself, there's going to be a time when you're going to be feeling this way that so many changes are happening, so many new things are beginning, and um, old things are ending, and it's just a roller coaster, but in a good way. You know, you feel good at the end of the day. Um, maybe not every single day, but after that period has passed and then you're going to feel good wherever you're heading it's not like you want to go back to the past so when you get into that sort of energy when you get get into that sort of vibes that yes a lot of big changes are happening and lots of big things are coming up and it's just one thing after the other that's when you're going you're so close to meeting your person and that is possibly when you're going to meet up with your future spouse I'm also getting somebody wants to adopt a new dog. That is one thing. Yeah. 
so i'm gonna finish off this pile right here if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me which is catered to your own needs your own requirements and your own situation um then you can email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time okay so if you're chosen the last group or the option number third these are the cards i have for you i have the king of pentacles the emperor the page of wands the fool the four of pentacles the five of swords the seven of wands the nine of pentacles strength and lastly we have the five of wands for the zodiac signs, I'm sensing there could be an Aries in the group. There could also be a Scorpio. There could be a Leo. And um, let me see. Somebody's sun is going to be in a fire sign. That would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so let's start with the messages. The first thing that I'm getting for you guys is that somebody lives away from their family or somebody um, has been living from their family has been living away from their family for quite a long time i'm sensing eight years it's been eight years this person has been away from their family and i'm also getting this person lives in a different country like they were born in a different country but now this person lives somewhere else um i'm also getting for a lot of you that um this person keeps traveling back and forth um and this travel is not um this is not between two countries or something this is a travel which which is like random so this person has to travel to different places and um it's a need and it's a requirement of this person's work and whatever they do um yeah that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting over here i'm also getting for some of you that um I feel like you have no clue who this person is gonna be so let me put it this way um i'm kind of getting for a lot of you that this person is going to be very different from whatever you imagine them to be so i'm sure whoever is watching pile number three must be having like every single one of you must be having some sort of a faint idea as to who is the person that you're going to marry so i feel like whatever idea you've had i'm not saying this person is going to be opposite of that or they're going to be totally um like different from that however this person is the vibe everything it's going to be different from whatever you can imagine right now it's like different is what i'm getting but it's a good thing you know that's what i'm sensing somebody could be a leo or a scorpio i already said that in the beginning but i'm sensing somebody who is a leo or a scorpio gets a lot of attention a lot a lot of people are jealous of this person and um somebody also has some sort of connection with cats or there is a pet that you have could be a cat um and for others of you i'm also sensing there is some sort of a protection around someone like a divine protection kind of a thing or somebody's protecting you from the negative energies because i see that there are people jealous um it could be regarding money it could be regarding anything else that you have better than others is what i am getting and um okay i feel like this person is um okay let me put it this way so i feel like for a lot of you i'm getting that this person is probably um like you both have some age difference however when it comes to maturity and when it comes to experiences i feel like the person that you're connecting with is a lot more calmer a lot more peace uh, peaceful and a lot more relaxed and i'm also sensing that this person is um this person has also gone through whatever you've gone through and their experiences are somewhat similar and their learnings are also somewhat similar 
and um, that's why you'll be able to connect with this person and this person would be able to connect with you but i feel like this person's personality is a bit different from you that's one thing okay i'm sensing some sort of an ending happening maybe some people are getting out of relationships around this time or you already are out of an out of a relationship um yeah and i'm sensing that thing is it i'm also hearing um been there done that so maybe there is someone who feels like i'm also getting for a lot of you that for some people somebody from your past may be trying to come back to you but you're like um no I, i'm like you know you're not really interested in that and you're not really wanting to um i'm getting for some people you're not really wanting to waste your time on that so i feel like you already know what's going to happen you already know the consequences um the situation and how it's going to turn out if you get back with this person but this is just for those of you who have someone or a contender who is trying to come back somebody could be a virgo or a libra okay um i'm getting that is the way to recognize who the one is or who your future spouse is is just by listening to your heart i'm sensing that um when you're going to meet up with this person you have never felt so strongly about anyone in your life the way you're going to feel about this person um so yes m- many people would have offered something to you many people would have asked you out asked you out uh, for a cup of coffee however the way this person is going to um i think it's going to happen on the very first encounter to be honest but the way this person is going to make you feel it might be very ordinary for the, for others and um for the for like anybody else however for you it's going to tick um something in your brain and i feel like you're instantly going to know that this is something really special this is out of it's almost like you will not expect this thing it will come out of thin air also i'm getting for some of you and at the same time i'm sensing that your heart and your intuition will know instantly the way you feel is the biggest um sign of recognition that this person is the one indeed and i'm also getting for a lot of you that your standards are very high you're not going to lower your standards for anyone whatsoever you know where you stand and i feel like you've gone through many relationships and you've gone through um like person after person and what you realized is that people sometimes are not really able to understand you and they expect you to be in their shoes but they're not wanting to be in your shoes they're not wanting to understand situations from your perspective but everybody's wanting to um wanting you to understand things from their own perspective so it's like a one way thing and you're kind of tired of it and you fought enough you said you stood up yourself um uh, stood up stood up for yourself more than enough and i feel like you are just way too exhausted at this point to um meddle with anybody but your future spouse i feel so i feel like for a lot of you you have really raised your standards and i feel like your standards have been have always been high but it's just that you've been so generous and you've been so open with people um that you let people in um but i feel like now your doors are closed yeah that's why i'm sensing and um i'm getting some somebody did something wrong to you or something you went through which which was not fair not right if that is the case you will get justice don't worry about that and um you will get whatever you have asked for whatever you desire um i'm also getting for a lot of you whatever you're looking for is also seeking you what what you're seeking is seeking you isn't that what it is um number 9 is very significant something's going to happen after the month of september also november uh is ha- being highlighted a lot here so that's why i'm getting for a lot of you that um there might be some trip they will that you will make in the month of november um yeah i do see that and also at the same time 
I'm sensing that you are looking for something and it will be presented to you even before you start looking for it something of that sort so your blessings are coming to you and um i'm also getting that your wishes are being fulfilled it's a lucky time for you in short um yeah a very confident person i see very confident who is this um the person that you connect with i see someone has really um how do i say healthy hair yeah i feel like somebody has um like um somebody's parents belong to different ethnicities so maybe um uh, somebody's mom could be from um how do i say somebody's mom could be irish but somebody's um but their dad are going to be um australian so that's just an example but i feel like that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting over here that somebody's parents have a difference of ethnicities and um i feel like somebody is very tall and um yeah i see the childhood of this person this person has been um i see like a happy child honestly this could be a leo yeah and um let me see okay yeah for those of you there's someone coming from the past um that's just a warning for you um i think you will have to deal with someone if there is someone who you think can come back i think yes um they are going to and for others of you if um reconciliation is not the thing and there is no one i am sensing that there are new people you're going to be meeting up with new people you're going to be going into some new social gatherings i'm sensing over here you're going to be making new connections and somebody is traveling and coming to see you yeah somebody is coming to see you in fact i'm also hearing someone say i'm coming to see you um it could be that kind of thing as well um somebody could be a what sign yeah very emotional somebody is quite not emotional okay it's not going to show up on their face this person um their emotions not going to show up this person is not even dramatic it's kind of like they have their emotions contained but this person is um they're not going to be overly emotional it's not going to show up on their face yeah and if somebody went through i'm sensing somebody over here went through some sort of an upheaval in their life it was something unexpected something drastic which um sort of disbalanced your life in a way and you had to regain yourself regain your um balance and um even regain your energy for a lot of you i'm sensing over here it's sort of like a recovery phase or a recovery period this could be due to some sort of a breakup this could be some sort of a situation which um kind of left you feeling hopeless and miserable for a lot of you i'm sensing that and this is not you this is this person that's what they're feeling um yeah whoever has gone through i feel like they're going to be over it soon and this person is going to get back on their feet whoever this person is and let me see what else okay financially i feel like you're going to be blessed soon if you're struggling with finances that's just a side message that i'm getting and um for a lot of you new jobs coming up I'm also getting for some people that somebody used to wear a lot of baggy clothes or like um I'm getting like somebody used to wear clothes with or with uh, puffy sleeves is what I'm getting um but somebody had a um a way of dressing in which they had like lots and lots of baggy clothes or somebody already somebody also wears that or maybe this was their um this was the way this person used to dress up is also what i am getting over here um 
yeah i'm getting if there is a, some sort of a creative endeavor which you are really interested in and this thing sparks up um sparks up your life and um makes you feel really good whatever this activity is i feel like you're going to be successful in it um and you're going to be rewarded in this field and um monetarily i feel like you're going to benefit a lot yes and um let me see what else okay i'm sensing okay here's the thing i'm saying the knight of wands sorry the knight of swords but it kind of makes me feel like it's the knight of wands so there is this person whoever is coming towards you they're going to be very attracted to you um very attracted to you yeah you should expect that already that this person is going to be extremely drawn to you attracted to you the very first time this person is going to encounter you or you're going to be this way to this person um to the point where it would be sort of um kind of like um you know this person wouldn't be able to contain it if i have to put it in words and um i'm just saying somebody's single right now and they're going through these negative um roller coaster of thoughts or negative loop of like this vicious cycle of thoughts like they feel like they're all alone and there's nobody with this person that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting over here so somebody is going through that yeah it's like lots and lots of negative thoughts happening and um but something is hidden here and this thing whatever it is i feel like it's not going to be revealed to you unless um this chapter of your life is closed whatever in your life is supposed to be like done and over with whatever in your life is already gone and you cannot do anything about it i feel like that's supposed to close and a new chapter of your life is supposed to start and with that new chapter a lot of new things are going to be revealed which are hidden right now which are under the shadows right now um and you'll be surprised what you're going to get somebody could be a capricorn somebody could be very intuitive or intuition is striking up somebody could also be a fixed sign taurus somebody's moon could be in a fixed sign taurus scorpio leo and aquarius and for the places i got for you guys um europe and australia so and the places which were highlighted the most were south australia and um i also got the central part and i also have norway poland um and i also got sweden and other scandinavian countries italy uk and france so that's all i'm getting for you guys in regards to where your future spouse could be from um or this person could be born over here this person um could be living over here at this current moment and let me see what else is coming up yeah with the nine of pentacles over here i feel like somebody has been recently single or um has been single for some time but it's been recent and um yeah that's where i'm getting and with the strength card over here i feel like um for a long time you are you have been resisting new connections you've been resisting dating and um like dating new people and inviting anyone in because i feel like you want to protect that boundary and at the same time i feel like you have um really high standards and you don't want to get involved with just about anyone at this point and um yeah so that's all i'm sensing for you guys i hope you like this video and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and um 
If you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can do so by emailing me and my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time.